One, ignition, engine full power, and let's go. So action three. We begin this week on a launch pad at Florida's Cape Canaveral. There, private spaceflight company SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 rocket on a trip to the International Space Station, or ISS. On board were flight commander and retired NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria and astronauts Marcus Wandt from Sweden, Italy's Walter Villade, and Turkey's first astronaut, Alper Gesarauci. The four flew as part of the latest commercial mission from Texas startup Axiom Space. SpaceX's autonomous Crew Dragon capsule did the heavy lifting of guiding the crew to the ISS. Axiom typically charges about $55 million per seat on these trips. This was the company's first mission where everyone on board had a military flight background and represented a home nation, as opposed to Axiom's prior two missions where business people paid their own way. Once docked to the space station, Axiom Mission 3 crew members received a warm welcome by their fellow astronaut hosts aboard the ISS. Zero and liftoff. Also this week, we celebrate the 20th anniversary of Mars rover's Spirit and Opportunity sharing time together on the Red Planet. The robotic duo landed on Mars in January of 2004. They found evidence that ancient Mars had water flowing on its surface and might have been capable of sustaining microbial life. More on that in a bit. NASA planned the mission for 90 Mars days, which are about 35 to 40 minutes longer than on Earth. But the dynamic duo outlasted that by years. Spirit stayed in touch with the space agency until 2010 and Opportunity kept on trucking through summer 2018. NASA still has rovers Curiosity and Perseverance roaming the Martian surface. Finally this week, that Mars water we promised to discuss. Scientists say Europe's Mars Express orbiter may have spotted a whole lot of it frozen under the Martian surface. Its location on Mars's equator, not the polar ice caps like on Earth, is as much a surprise as the discovery itself. We don't expect to see a polar ice cap at the equator. You know, it, it's, it's as ludicrous on Mars as it would be on Earth, but that's what the data are telling us, saying it does look like that. Scientists say that if melted, the water ice discovery, believed to be nearly four kilometers thick, could cover all of Mars with water roughly two meters deep or enough to fill Earth's Red Sea. But scientists add, at a depth of roughly 300 meters, it likely won't be that useful for space explorers looking for water away from our home planet. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.